Welcome back, everybody. You're watching Sport Federation TV. It's great to have you along. You can see me tonight proudly wearing the colors of the Western Cape Provincial Sport Confederation. These, this shirt that I'm wearing, in fact, are the colors that you will see provincial athletes and teams wearing. Of course, they would have gone through a whole process of um, color selection. They would have gone through trials. They would have had to have various policies endorsed. And then essentially, at the end of the day, they will be competing against other provinces at some sort of national event. So if you're ever not sure if somebody has provincial colors, well, this is, these are the provincial colors. David Mons, the president of uh, the uh, district, Central Karoo District Sport Council and vice president of the uh, Western Cape Provincial Sport Confederation is in studio with me. Rare privilege for us to have him down here. Um, uh, David, let's talk about that quickly from a sport perspective. Um, I suppose w one of your most important commissions within the uh, Sport Confederation is the uh, Transformation Commission. Uh, indeed, yeah. The Transformation Commission covers all aspects Press, yeah. of, of sport. Yeah. Um, but uh, let's just maybe touch on that a little bit. Um, um, you spoke about the fact that you've been involved in sport for a long time. Yeah. Um, and you're, you're hands-on involved in seeing measurable changes um, on a daily basis. basis yeah. How important is it to get people to play sport? Uh, JB Sports is, uh, if I take it for myself, if I haven't played sport or being involved in sport, where would I have been, you know? And I, I saw a lot of my friends and my peers that were, you know, who were not so good, for the lack of a better word, uh, were, were, were people who were out of line. But by virtue of bringing them into sport, because sport is a place where you can be, l where you learn discipline. Yeah. Uh, you know the rules say you should not kick a person, then you got punished, and so on. So you must play within this confines. If the referee is blowing the whistle, then you must stop playing, and and, and so on. So that's a form of discipline. Right. So you bring this person that were doing his own thing into a disciplined environment. So. Mm is start working on him as a person, start where he normally didn't listen to anybody, he now listen because there is an instruction by, by virtue of a referee and on a whistle and, and, and so on. And, and that brought a lot of guys to sport and if you go and look at them today, you'll see, uh, I mean, the history of Benny McCarthy himself, where he came from and what he've done as a small young boy but when yeah. he got into football he's one today one of our best coaches in the country in, in the world for that matter and if, and if so you on. look at the transformation if you if one takes central Korea as an example which is of course close to home for you yeah um the the and, and we look at the transformation um uh, charter the transformation the scorecard, scorecard. Mm. the fact that you have got clubs uh the fact that you have got members this also means that you're able to do certain education, Station, certain yes. workshops, mm. certain social engagements, yeah. mm. which might be beyond how good, you, how fast you can run or how good you can good. score. Exactly. Um, th that, that must be something that you're also focused on. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, look, if, uh, uh, like I said in the beginning that w when 2013 we were only one federation. Yeah. And we are, we are having 10 fully fledged federations now. So the transformation in terms of from this, people must understand transformation. They, when they see this, m always black and white must sub be substituted. That's not transformation. Tra the transformation scorecard will also is also there to to show us what I what is needed, who needs what, how can we improve, mm. and where it should be uh, uh, applied, and so on. So it's very important that people must fill in the scorecard. Western Cape is being regarded as one of the best confederations because we're having these scorecards. Whenever Saskok or whoever is inquiring information, mm. and it can be pulled out of the, of the scorecard. You can <laughs> say, sorry? Is it important in terms of that scorecard, is it important to set goals that you have an idea of where you're going? And if you want to achieve something, you have to set goals. Yeah. And it's, if you don't have goals, like, as for an example, if I may, uh, they had uh, 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 an illustration one day uh, about football. They put a uh, goal post there. Right. Yes. The guys were playing, playing, and they scored. 
And uh, there were two teams, so there was a colored team and a black team. So the guys scored uh, when they took the goalpost away. The colored people leave the field. The other guys still playing. So they were just kicking the ball around. So there were no goals. You see what I'm trying to say? If, the, if you don't set goals, you will never achieve uh, an end result and so on. And what do we want to achieve by virtue of sport is to, is to develop and, and, and as a playing nation, we need the best out of our athletes and so on. So is that uh, when, you, when you talk about transformation, you talk about developing the best of an athlete, does that also include elements of high performance? Elements of high performance. We do have uh, in the districts the, the academies and yeah. of course we have a high performance center here in Cape Town and uh, where we, we, we channel these athletes to. Federations must come on board to say, listen, I'm having this player. Yeah. I want to be part of it. Just and, 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 and that's it. And uh, I mean, we have uh, Mr. Gerald Don is heading uh, that commission. Uh, everything is, is here. See, the people must just make contact with the district and or with the confederation. And Bob was your uncle. So how are we doing then? Now you t you've shifted us into the high performance conversation. Mm. How are we doing as Western Cape? Because obviously we're seeing our provincial athletes now. They're wearing these yes, items yeah. and they're donned in there. The kids are wearing their track suits mm. and they're competing against mm. the other provinces. Um, I mean, you had uh, recently a Western Cape Provincial Sport Awards. And mm. um, at these awards, you had a number of athletes from the Western Cape who had broken world, world records. records. Yes. I mean, it, from, from the stories that we hear and the, the picture that we're getting, the Western Cape athletes are doing quite well. Man, uh, if I can say, what is this sport, hockey or something? Beaufort West, the ladies from Beaufort West, she actually is the national champion in that, uh, now at the indigenous games. See, so uh, uh, not normally it was only people in Cape Town yeah. who achieve, I mean, yeah. Uh, I was at the Cape Wineland Sports Awards. I mean, brilliant athletes, national uh, record breakers, international record breakers, yeah. and, and, and so on. So it is actually, and what is good is on the outlying areas like your Eden and Central Karoo and these people are also coming, coming, coming on board now and, and, and so on. And in the, of course, the main frame on the main stage and, and so on. So I, I suppose the, the era as well with uh, the online activity and digital yeah, yeah. has allowed people to share more uh, yes. education and skills and so uh, on. Exactly, Def definitely. And I mean, we must also applaud you for what you've done through the uh, COVID times uh, by keeping our people uh, afloat and abreast with all the happenings that was going through the virtual channels and, and, and so on. We're now just under a month away from the uh, end of the year. Mm. Um, sport, of course, doesn't stop. No, definitely. Like we say, if, if the official stop, we go. And I said to football people, why? Come stop you and wait. Because the league is stopped now, yeah. but yeah. we're still competing. Like we say, we fly flucky soccer. People are just playing. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's. Uh, Someone still has to open ceiling. the doors. Exactly. Put the lights on. <laughs> yes. Competitions still keep going. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I think uh, if you want your kid to do something, let them be part and parcel of, of sport. Play sport. If you are an adolescent and you've been involved in sports, don't stop. Yeah. Uh, get uh, uh, involved in the administration, coaching, assisting there with the technical. Uh, stuff. Don't let your light uh, uh, being shut off when you don't play anymore. Mm. I mean, 7 December is uh, a Legends uh, Awards and where people being uh, nominated for what they've done through the years and so on and then become legends. David, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's a privilege for us to have you in the studio. Mm -mm. We uh, don't get to see you often. Yeah. But when we do, we of course grab it with both hands. Yeah. And uh, we of course say to you, uh, thanks very much. And, and, and of course, safe travels all the way back to Beaufort West. No, thank you very much. It was nice being here and uh, to share some uh, of our uh, things here at the Confederation. And uh, I hope that the federations uh, come to the party and that we uh, take it there because we have a name to to protect, which is uh, Western Cape, 
we know that Western Cape is being regarded as the skank <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the rest of the province, but we are ahead of them all. It doesn't matter what it, it is or what level it is, Western Cape as a collective is that. And so. Here we go, folks. Mr. David Mines, of course, uh, Vice President of the Western Cape Provincial Sport Confederation, Chairman of the Central Karoo District Sport Council, Chairman of the uh, Rural Form, uh, Farm Sport uh, Council, uh, Commission at least. And so, very involved and active. Uh, we will, of course, keep, keep talking about sport in the Western Cape. As you know, we'll talk about the high performance, we'll talk about the transformation, we'll talk about our various districts. On our side, it certainly does not stop. TV and sport carries on all year. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll speak to uh, more of our sport codes here in the province. Back in a sec. Don't go away.